Hi everyone, it's Elsie here and I'm so excited to be a guest designer this month for All To New. So I am making a few mini albums for you today and I actually made three, which you can sort of see a little preview of here. Uh, I was inspired by all of the gorgeous pattern papers in the Reflection and Our Family scrapbook collections and yeah, I just wanted to use all of the patterns. So um, I made three of these little albums and they are going um, to three little ones as part of their Christmas present. So I am, um, to make my cover, I cut a four by 12 inch strip of pattern paper and then I'm gonna score uh, at four inches, four and a half inches, eight and a half inches, and then nine and a half inches. And uh, this kind of cover is so sort of simple to make and also it's so adaptable like you can really make it sort of any size um, or shape that you want it to be. I chose sort of a simple sort of four by four square sort of dimension and yeah it's just I just love this pattern paper as well this is like one of my favorite pattern papers I think it's from the reflection collection um, yeah I'm just obsessed with blue and watercolor and polka dots so it's like the perfect paper. Uh, for each sort of uh, cover, I sort of did a little different sort of decorative border. So for this one, I simply just rounded the corners. For another one, I used a scallop border punch. And then the other one, I kind of made it into like a sort of circle or semicircle. Um, so what I'm doing now is uh, sort of backing the inside uh, cover with some pattern paper. And I chose this really lovely watercolor blue wash uh, pattern which I thought went well with the little um, polka dot, watercolour polka dots on the cover and yeah I'm just trimming them down so they're slightly smaller than uh, the than the cover so it leaves like a nice border and it's easier to fold and things and you obviously don't have to do this step um, especially if you're using sort of a double sided pattern paper but um, I think it just strengthens the um, the cover a bit more and since that's going to be you know open and closed a lot uh, it's good just to have that extra bit of support and now I'm creating the inside pages uh, so to do this I'm again keeping it very simple and I'm just using uh, some A4 white cardstock and I cut those into three and seven eighths of an inch strips and I'm then folding, um, not folding, sorry, scoring them at three and seven eighths uh, inch intervals, because <laughs> that's a mouthful. And then I'm folding them all up sort of accordion style. So um, you kind of get that Z shape. And then the little tabs that are left over at the bottom, I'm just using those to glue each of the uh, strips together. And yeah, it's a really simple and easy way to get sort of a very, um, sort of lots of pages in your album and yeah I chose uh, white cardstock uh, because I knew I was going to sort of decorate each uh, square with some different pattern papers and the white is just like a nice little uh, base for uh, all of those uh, patterns and colours I will add and then just to, to adhere all those pages onto uh, my cover I'm just gluing one side uh, down onto that sort of back section and yeah that's as easy as it gets really uh, and then oh yeah I forgot to sort of add a little uh, sort of pattern strips into the spine um, again just to help strengthen it and I really am obsessed with that gorgeous blue watercolour pattern it's just lovely and then that's pretty not much the album done that's just the main sort of bones of it and the structure of it uh, all yeah finished so now I am just grabbing all of the bits, bits of pattern paper that I love which is like basically all of the patterns and uh, cutting them into three and seven eighths squares uh, maybe a bit shy of that just so you get that nice white border around each uh, page and look at all those gorgeous patterns and colours I love it so yeah it's just a matter of going through them and adding them to each page getting lots of and lots of colour down I love the blue with this black and white stripe it just looks very classy 
and if you're wondering why most of these pages are kind of blank uh, that's because I know the little ones I'm going to give these to uh, will want to add their own photos and their own journaling so um, yeah it's really versatile in the right aspect I think it would look, also look really cool if you added just uh, some square photos on each page um, yeah super simple and really really fun um, so yeah that's that's me done i'm gonna have flip throughs for you next and yeah thank you so much for watching and make sure you check out my guest post on the alter new blog to see what other projects i created so have a great day everyone Changing fast